Mario Mahani. And this week's aqua tip is a really simple one, but it's nice. So especially if you're doing some of the other ones that we've done before in this series of doing suspended work with one dumbbell, this move is a great move to use as a transition move. You're moving from one side of the body to the other. So we're doing a jog and we're passing the dumbbell around the body. So, looks really easy to do. Certainly when you're demonstrating on the side of the pool, not easy to do in the water. Yep. So please try this yourself. So you're passing the dumbbell around your body. Now, for this you need to make sure that you also pass the dumbbell around the body in the opposite direction because the force on the arms is different depending on the direction you go. So if I go right arm, pass it to my left as I go around, my left arm really has to reach back to pull it around. So it's going to be a little bit more anterior stretch at the front of my left shoulder and I've got to pull that dumbbell around. Passing it around your back is not the hardest part. It's when you pass it and you pull it through to the front. That's the challenging part. So clearly that's going to change depending on the arm that's doing the pull around to the front. Pull around to the front. Think about lifting the knees up high, driving your feet down firmly to the bottom of the pool. Yep. And you want to keep your body as upright as possible. The jogging legs need to move fast. Otherwise, you'll find that you start sinking towards the bottom of the pool. Wow. Great heart rate workout, especially if you're moving at that tempo. I sometimes ask my clients, in a certain period of time to see if they can take their dumbbell around a little bit faster than what they did last time. But it's a great transition move if you're wanting to swap from one hand to the other hand for the opposite side of the body exercise. And that's this week's Aqua Tip.